Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I will be showing you guys, or giving you guys, my top five jailbreak apps for the iPad for the month of September. Now, I try to keep the jailbreak top fives a little bit original because, you know, SB settings, Wonderboard, stuff like that would get boring if I said that for every month. So, here are some applications. They're still the top applications, but they are not the exact same list as before. So let's go ahead, and the first one, number one, is YourTube HD. This application is really cool. So if we go ahead and search a video here, uh, I'm just searching for Secrets by One Republic, which is, by the way, a very good song, and it's the song that I've been searching for, and it's in the iPhone 4, like, video. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and just select this one, and what this video, when this video loads, you go to this page, tap it and hit download and you can do low quality, high quality, or 720p, whatever you like. So let's go back and then you can see there's a download section down here. I've already downloaded it. We're going to hit add to iPod library. Now this is really cool. So on the iPad, if you go to your movies app or your videos app, it will be in there when you launch it up. Just give it a second here. I don't know why it's taking so long. And there we go. And if you tap it, let's go ahead and play the video. And as you can see, it's going to start playing. Let's go up and turn up the volume. By the way, really good song, guys, if you want to check it out. Secrets by One Republic. I can't really show it to you without getting copyright infringements or whatnot. But let's go ahead and move on to the next video, or I mean the next uh, application here. Sorry about that. Is Overboard. I did a video on this earlier for the iPhone and iPad. But I'll just show it to you guys quickly here, as it is one of my favorite apps. It just allows you to jump between page to page by hitting the home button or any other activation method. It's really cool, and it does have some settings. I'm not going to go too in-depth, but that is pretty much the purpose of the application. Great if you have a lot of icon pages, like I said, updated for the iPad and iPhone. So, to check that out. Okay, the next one is Iconoclasm, which you guys can already see is running because I have six by five. So normally it's I believe five by four, but I do have six now by five. So um, what Iconoclasm does is it allows you to have custom layouts in any shape or form using um, what's it called? Uh, using just any layouts as you can see right here. You can do five by five, three by three, and download more layouts via Cydia. There's also some uh, beta features like this, but I'm not going to go over that. And it's just a really cool application. Very simple, yet very cool. The next application here is Display Out. This application I cannot show you right now. I will make a video on it soon. Um, but I can go ahead and talk to you guys about it. And it basically, it um, if you plug something into your iPad right here, the cables, and plug it into your TV, it will transfer the whole, um, app, the whole UI to your TV. So you can play games, watch movies, Basically, it'll mirror your iPhone and iPod Touch or iPad onto your TV screen. It's a really cool application, and it is, I believe, $1.99 in the uh, City Store, so definitely check that out. I'll be making a video on that soon, so stay tuned. All right, last, um, last application here is Safari Download Manager. So let's go ahead and get to a website where we can download something. Let's just go to, um, to download.com. Is that's fairly obvious as so we're trying to download something. Let's give it a second here. Sorry if the internet is a little slow. I am uploading a video, so that's why it's slow. And let's go ahead and just download whatever we see pops up first. Okay, this is really slow. We're going to go ahead and download, let's do Google Chrome. Now, you can download these applications or um, stuff like that, but they will not run on the iPad because it is for the Mac. But we're going to go ahead and hit download now. And it's going to bring us to the page. And um, if this is going really slowly, I might just go ahead and stop it. But what it does is it pops up asking you if you'd like to, or here we go, download or download to. So you can download it to a specific location on your iPad, or you can just go ahead and download, and it pops up here in your download section, giving you progress, and you can have multiple downloads going at once. 
So definitely a um, awesome, awesome application, especially especially for the iPad. I find it more useful than for the iPhone because the iPad is more of a computer. So that is my top five city apps for the iPad for September. Hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more top fives, top tens, jailbreaks, app reviews, and whatnot. And um, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at AppOSX. And thanks for watching.